Well, the city of Glens Falls is about to be a much quieter city. The council updated the decades old noise ordinance that had no decibel limit and only applied to car radios and garbage trucks. News 10's James De La Fuente breaks it down. Glens Falls Mayor Bill Collins says the new law will modernize the current noise ordinance. It will now include a limit of 75 decibels and all types of noise from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Glens Falls is a 113-year-old city, and so our code is full of laws that are outdated, and, and sometimes you, you find uh, rules and regulations that you could drive a truck through. He says the city is preparing for the changes. Your first violation will cost you $250. Any violations after could cost cost you hundreds of dollars more, even land you a month in jail. So we wanted to know what 75 decibels sounded like. We downloaded an app on our phone and we went around to hear some of the things you might hear around your house. We'll have noise measuring equipment with both the police and the building and codes department and they'll be able to do it. And the object isn't to provide any of those fines. That's, that's what you could do if you're found guilty. What are the impacts of these noises beyond a nuisance? 75 would not necessarily be detrimental to your hearing unless you're extremely close to the sound source. Anything above 60 dB over a long period of time could, could cause stress just because it's loud and annoying. The mayor and the police department will be meeting tomorrow to go over and finalize logistics of the new law and exactly when it will take effect. Reporting in Glens Falls, James De La Fuente, News 10, ABC.